Hey guys, today's video is a quick one about this beef uh, chuck eye steak that I picked up on sale at the Teeter. Uh, this was such a good cut of meat, tasted almost like exactly like ribeye. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I pulled it out of the package. It was a package of two. They're pretty big, you can see. Um, and you know, the marbling's really good. You can see it is very similar to a ribeye in that aspect. Um, but the recipe I found said to um, use a paper towel to get all the moisture out and then season it really, really well and to end up searing it in a skillet or on the grill. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I dried it up really nicely and I weighed it. I just wanted to show you guys. It's All right, so I did some Redmond's Real Salt, organic garlic salt, and some pepper. And I did a pretty thick layer all around, and I set it on my little Instant Pot grate so that it could sit up and get some air under it. And it's gonna go in the fridge, and I will cook it up later. And I pulled these out of the fridge about two hours ago, so now they've come up to room temperature, which is a key part of getting them cooked really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my skillet to high to get it going, and then we will get these cooked. I did wanna mention, this one is 13 ounces, and this one is 17. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cook them both and slice them up, and then you know eat some now and save the rest for another time. Okay, let's cook these steaks. I ended up searing these and cooking them about five and a half minutes per side since they were so thick. Okay, so I'm doing the taste test. It's just as good as a ribeye. It cooked up great, nice and tender. So at like five or six dollars a pound, this is an incredible deal. I'm so glad I found it. Um, I would recommend it, so go find some. Thanks so much for watching guys and don't forget to hit like and subscribe on the way out. See you next time.